Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another video, and today i got a little bit of a haul for you. Uh, this is just some stuff I picked up from my in-town Hot Wheels buddy Chuck. Uh, you've probably heard me mention his name before. Um, he buys collections and resells them. Uh, typically he buys a collection, he will go through it, he will pick out what he wants for his personal collection, then typically I get to be the, the lucky number two person to actually come in and... Uh, pick out some stuff that I want from it, and um, he gives me just an amazing deal. Um, I really appreciate uh, the deal he gives me, and of course the friendship um, with this hobby. It's such a good time. So, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to quickly go through all the things that I got from him, or most of the things I got from him. I'm saving uh, some other stuff for another video, but uh, we'll go through uh, this quick. So, first of all, I got another one of these. I've already had one before, but this is the Hot Wheels Billionth Edition. Which is pretty sweet. It comes with this little like trophy-like thing with a car on top. And I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, so I already have one of these with a Corvette Stingray. So now I got this one with this Corvette on it. Not a huge Corvette fan, but nonetheless, this thing is cool. I thought there's lots of different stuff I could use it for. Um, you know, possibly like a trophy for downhill racing or something. Who knows? There's a lot of neat things that I think can be done with this uh this little trophy-like thing here. So I got that. Got this uh, Zamac from him. Just a 70 Chevelle SS wagon. There's that. I didn't have this one. Um, I think this one from 2014, maybe. Yeah, 2014. So that's pretty cool. Didn't have that. Got a uh, Datsun 240Z. Pretty sweet. I already have one of these carded, so I will crack one of them once everyone's in uh, whatever card's in worse condition. I didn't look yet, though. Yeah, but that one does have a little bendy there. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. All right, so there you go. That guy is open, and it will join my loose 240Z collection. So there is that. Next up, we got uh, Nissan Skyline. Pretty sweet. This one is from 2006, I think. Yep, 2006. I got two of them. So that's pretty cool. Picked up both of those. Picked up a Baja Breaker. Shout out to you, Rick, Sick Diecast. I know you're a big fan of this casting so much. It's turned me on to be a big fan of this casting. So I kind of I pick these up whenever I see them now. Uh, so there's that. The Maserati MC12. Just thought that's a cool sports car. This is from 2006 as well. Um, the cars that he picked up from this collection are all around that same time. Uh, custom 77 Dodge van on a shorty. That's pretty cool. Then we got uh, another custom 77 Dodge van. This one's from 2008. Looking nice. Got two of them. So that's pretty cool. Uh, set those aside. Picked up this Cloak and Dagger, Cloak and Dagger on a shorty. Um, got this with, uh, shout out to Paul Wooten in mind. I know he likes the Cloak and Dagger. That's one of his uh, favorite fantasy castings. So if you need this, Paul, let me know if you need this one on a shorty. I know you open up all your stuff anyway, but uh, I got that one if you need it. Um, <clears throat> then we've got a Highway Hauler. Shout out to PJ Foreman. Um, just picked this one up. Didn't have it, so grabbed it. Uh, grabbed that. Grabbed a custom 62 Chevy. It's one of my favorite castings. I do really like this one. Surfboard in the back. It's just a really nice looking casting. So this is the 2008 new model of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, picked up this uh, Byway Man Final Run. Junior's Junkyard. So that's pretty cool. I like the Byway Man. Pretty much grab these a lot of the times that I see him. Uh, just a nice pickup truck. And uh, didn't have this one, so I grabbed it. Then I picked up the Volkswagen New Beetle Cup. I like Beetles. Generally, I don't like New Beetles, but uh, this had faster and ever wheels on it, so I thought that was pretty cool. I like those wheels. And it just looked pretty neat, and it was cheap, so I picked it up. What else do we got? Picked up a 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. This one's pretty sweet. It's got that big, huge engine in the front. Pretty neat, so grab that one. That's 2003. Then I uh, picked up this Final Run 2004 Ferrari 308. This is only about the sixth or seventh one I've owned. For some reason, anytime I see this, I grab it. I don't know. I like it. 
And uh, then I got uh, Mazda Miata. I think I already have this one, but now I'll have one loose too. So just grab that one. And then I got uh, Jaguar XJ220 in the Dash for Cash series. Kind of a lame tampo scheme, but uh, I dig this car and I uh, dig this casting. Had a version of this casting when I was a wee lad, so it's uh, kind of a cool one to me. So grab that, and then I got uh, three. Oops, hanging up on my lights here. I got three of these catapult final runs, and I really just got them. You know, on the possibility that I might use the wheels, and the wheels are plastic, but they're kind of a co mold kind of thing going on. Let's see how well you can see that. But they're plastic, but they almost look like they're real riders. And I just thought these would be some cool wheels to use on a custom, so I grabbed uh, three sets of them. So we got that. And let's see here. Next up, I picked up this two pack, this limited edition two pack because of the 80s Firebird that's in it. So I don't know if that's in anything else but this two-pack. I'm really not sure. If any of you guys know, let me know. But we're going to open it up. Yeah, it's old. It's from 93. But I forget what this casting is called. Uh, does it say in the bottom? I don't remember what it's called. Uh, but here's that. And then this is the one I really wanted. So that's going to go loose and back into the, uh, my 80s Firebird collection. So that's pretty cool. Glad to have it. And next up we've got all these NASCAR things. I picked up, I got these for, what did he give these for, to me for? Like a buck fifty a piece or something like that. Just trying to dump them. It's either a buck fifty or two bucks, I don't remember. Either way, these tires are rubber and it comes with that cool toolbox. I picked up, uh, four of them. Here's another one I picked up. Here's another one I picked up. And then I picked up one that I already have loose. I opened this one up there just to make sure that it actually had rubber tires. And they do because sometimes they look like they have rubber tires and they don't. But these actually had rubber tires. And that's pretty cool. So now I got four of these little toolboxes and four sets of these wheels. So love the NASCAR wheels. That's, that's a nice thing. Also picked up this Lucy. This also has rubber rubber tires, so I picked up that for the wheels. I picked up this uh, Johnny Lightning Plymouth Superbird. Uh, the paint is all gross on it and is like falling off on parts. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but it's kind of like flaky. And uh, so I picked this one up real cheap, or I think he actually just gave this to me. And this is just to make a custom out of this casting. I thought it would be cool. So got that. Here's another Byway Man picked up that guy this is a cool older one hooked me up with that what else did we get I got just a couple more items here for you another NASCAR thing got this for the wheels these are plastic but I just like them because of the red rim around the wheel and I got two Chevy Luminas because I'm a minivan fan Oh yeah, I've owned three minivans in my life, and loved every one of them, so you can make fun of me if, if you want, that's cool, but uh, they were great cars, especially as a teenager, they were a really good car, you could fit all your friends inside of it, and uh, you could also fit all your band equipment inside of it, and have a lot of fun time, so a lot of good memories in the minivan, so there's that, and then we've got, last but definitely not least, this uh, Porsche. P911. This is a really cool older casting, old Blackwell era casting. I don't know what year this one came out. I think it was like late 80s. Late, middle of the late 80s for sure. So there that is. All right, that's my haul for you. Wow, nine minutes and uh, almost 30 seconds here. So uh, sorry for taking so long. But uh, thanks for joining me.